Hey everybody, as you know, over the last six years bullet journaling, I have experimented with a lot of different notebooks, test driven a lot of different products, and today I am talking about the True Red Line. It's available at staples.com. I'm going to give you my first impressions, do some pen tests, and share some basics with you so that you can decide whether it's something that you want to try or not in your own bullet journal practice. Okay, I am resisting saying, let's just dive into it, or let's get into it. Oh my god, if I hear another YouTuber say that. Okay, so the first notebook is the Starter Journal. I thought this was interesting because it has a couple of features on it, but it's for people who want to take notes and have action items attached to it. But you can see that it's narrow ruled, which will be interesting for me. Uh, 96 sheets, 192 pages. It is 8 by 10, so almost a letter size. And you can see the binding is about a half to three-fourths of an inch. There's a pen loop on the outside. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder what you put in here. Your phone? Oh. More storage. <laughs> So I'm guessing that if you had something that's in the front, you can just tuck it right into here. I feel like I'm a kid playing around in a book. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pocket in the front. Oh, the paper feels smooth. Okay, so these are regular, like, dated notebook entries. There's numbered pages at the bottom. Oh, okay. Here is where they have this neat, like, perforated page where you can fold it over and rip it out. I can see now that they're, t I think they're talking about morning afternoon and evening, so 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 5 p.m., which is, okay, a subtle way for you to break it out by either task or by time of day. And it looks like those are just sprinkled throughout here, and I'm not sure by what interval. But they're kind of scattered throughout along with these sketch pages so if you don't need everything to be consistent and you kind of like that every so often like you hit some of these different functions okay and then similar to the look term you can pull off this sticker and add it to the spine where you can keep track of it for storage and, and archival purposes. Cool. Oh, I like this. Um, at the end of every notebook, being able to look back and skim through and pull out some of the highlights, the lessons you've learned, the growth that you've had in that notebook, that's a cool prompt to do at the end of this. All right, so we gotta do a pen test. Okay, so these are the pens that I've got on here. I like to use a variety of types and a variety of points. So you see I have gel pens here and a 0 0.5, 0 0.38. We all know that I love using a 0.28, but that's not on here. We have some felt tips. So the flare, the lip pen felt tip. I've got a 0.7 here, and then some, of course, bigger markers like Crayola Mild Liner. And I used a fountain pen here. Let's see how it did. 
So the paper is about 80 GSM, which is about the same as a Rhodia, I think, but the paper is uncoated. On the back, you can see that the uni pin, which we use for the cloth and paper transparent sticky notes. So this makes sense that it kind of bleeds through a little bit here. The Sharpie, of course, <laughs> I just wanted to see what that would look like. Um, Acrylograph, you can see the shadowing. In the Crayola, you can see a little bit of the shadowing. Pentel, you can see the shadowing, but the gel pens are largely fine. I think the Ink Joy with the 0.7, it's a little juicier and you can see a little bit more of the shadowing there, but otherwise everything else doesn't really show through. I'm sure if you did a lot of highlighting and heavy, heavy markering, this would kind of show some shadows, but other than that, it doesn't really do that. Okay, so that's that one. I should probably use some of these pens on there. <laughs> so they sent me these rollerball pens and these are like what I would define as like business level because they do have some cool features like, you know, business safe, ink level, and it just looks like one of those fancy pens that you use. <laughs> Okay, so the pen is a wide barrel, super soft grip. It's kind of like a soft rubbery feeling, but you can see that the tip has the, or not, camera. Okay, <laughs> it's got a cone tip. It's not like a super fine needle tip. And then they also sent me these quick dry gel retractable pens. So let's pull these out and see how they write. They're a 0.7. Uh, supposedly dries fast and the colors all match the barrel so it looks like these are some bright colors okay <laughs> let me just try to get this apart okay let's see how these write those are very smooth if you like smooth pens those are definitely smooth and then the 0.7, similar to the Ink Joy, because they've got more ink, um, you can see the shadow on the other side. Again, that doesn't bother everybody, but I'm just noting that that is a fact. So throughout this, you know, they're giving you little tips as to how to make the most out of the note-taking practice, whether that's sketching an idea out to visualize it or to take action on it with the to-do list. And then they've got these little instructions trying to help you do more with the notes that you're taking. So you know that I do a lot of sketch noting and they have a little bit of hints on the front to use icons, highlight, box out, use arrows, and then sign your pages. So trying to kind of play off of what other great note takers have done in the past and encouraging you to try those techniques out in case they work well. Okay, and here is the other notebook that they sent me. Oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time talking. I bit my tongue and so this is giant like, <laughs> wound on my tongue so forgive me if I sound like I'm slurring my words together um, it's a graft journal and it looks very similar to what many kind of a5 grid notebooks look like I think of moleskin for its moleskin for an example and um, it's got ivory paper so I'm guessing that that means it's a slightly off-white a5 two bookmarks 256 pages and I think this is also 80 GSM. So let's see what that looks like. Um, you can see the cover is somewhat pliable, but it's pretty structured in terms of like the fake leather. Yep, okay, so it is off-white. Reminds me a lot, again, of the Moleskin Rhodia paper. There is not numbers on the bottom, but they do have these two bookmarks, silver and black, ribbon. And I think with some training, you can get it to be open flat with some training. Okay. So this is a little pocket for like a business card, but other than that, I don't see a pocket for other pieces. If you like having a lot of pages though, this does have basically as many pages as a Leuchtturm edition one does. And we'll see how the paper stands with the pen test.
Okay, so here again we've got the pens. I remembered to include the True Red brand ones as well. Oh. Okay. So let's look here. You can the gel pens all did pretty well along with like the felt tip ones. Slight shadowing. And then with the ink uni pin, that's the oil tip, right? I, I do not ever really expect paper to hold up to that because it's got such a different kind of ink, which again we use on the transparent sticky notes. This is the Ink Joy Gel, which is a 0.7. This is the True Red pen and then the gel retractable one from them, and then the Pentel brush pen. Crayola mild liner. Acrylograph, which is those acrylic kind of pens from Archer and Olive. And then the bottom one is a fountain pen preppy extra fine. So you can see there are some spots where you can see the ink go through. So this also depends on how fast you write. The faster you write, even with a juicy pen, it doesn't give the ink enough time to sit and soak through. So if you're a slow pen person, um, then either maybe use like a ballpoint or you'd want to use a felt tip. But the longer that you press down, obviously the ink will soak through. And that's just a science. I think that's just the way that pens are. So that is the pen test for this. The um, gel pens are the ones that are designed to work with these notebooks, but you can use them in any other place. Okay, I kind of love this strap here that you can just kind of tuck in another notebook into it and hold it as you walk around. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, so all right, so what you just saw was my review of some of the True Red note taking collection. They have four different notebooks and I just tested out two of them. So this is the starter and I'm pretty sure this is the mastery. They have an expert and a pocket and they come in a variety of sizes. Some of them come in the A5 and the larger 8x10. Some of them like the pocket is of course a smaller version of this if you want something a little bit more Portable, and they come in a variety of insides. So this notebook, I think, not only comes in graft, but also dots and lines, if that works better for you. I know that, you know, we all come at note taking differently. I know that even though I took notes on a computer versus taking notes by hand, that by hand always makes me remember the material more. And even all these years, I have not gone to a completely digital planner because I just love the feeling of writing with my hands. And so depending on what your approach is, they have a notebook that's kind of styled toward a visual, a more linear kind of note taker. And so you can check that out. They really want you to make the most out of your note taking style. You can find these online at staples.com slash spark to finish, or you can also find it in the link in my description below if you want to try these out for yourself, especially if you're looking for something to use at work or you're diving into bullet journaling for the first time. These range from $13 and $19, depending on the size and the style. So definitely something that you can quick pop over and try for yourself. These pens, of course, everyone has their own preference as to you know what point and what style. If you're into the 0 0.5, 0 0.7, gel, rollerball, it's all good. Remember that planning is finding the tools that work best for you and sometimes it takes a little bit of experimentation. I know I've experimented a ton over the last six years. Given all of that, this is totally up to you. This is mainly to give you a sense as to what these notebooks and pens are like so that you can make a decision based on what you need for your practices. So what questions do you have? Have you had any of these notebooks before? Let me know in the comments below. If you like it, please go ahead and like, subscribe, share, whatever. I hope that you enjoy it. Stick around for some other videos and, and reviews. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.